Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Top 5 Friday. As you can tell by the background, we are talking about Stephen King again. Today, um, we are going to be doing a Top 5 Favorite Characters. My Top 5 Favorite Characters. I would love to hear your own Top 5, Top 10, Top 20, or just 1 or 2, 3, 4, whatever, down there in the doobly-doo. This came from a live stream I did this past weekend. Somebody asked me to do it, and I was sitting there and I was thinking, you know what? I don't think I could do that. I don't think I could home, not. I don't think I could whittle it down to only five people. And then I came into the office and I looked through my books and I was like, there really is a top five for me. There's as soon as I started thinking about it, I said, I want this, 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 this. All five of them fell into place. And I do have some honorable mentions, but I'm, I'm not really going to go too far into detail. I love Wireman from uh, Duma Key. I really enjoy that one. I like Jesse from Gerald's Game and uh, Ralph from Insomnia. Those would be my three honorable mentions just because I liked reading about the... Well, with uh, Ralph and Jesse, I love reading their stories. With Wireman, I just like sitting there, you know, reading about him talking to... What's his name? Edgar? Edgar Freeman? Anyways, I also don't have a top five in the sense that this is ranked one through five. These are just my top five characters. I really couldn't put any one above the other. So we're going to start with Nick Andros of The Stand. I found myself, uh, both times I've read this book, I found myself always wanting to come back to Nick. And then spoilers, spoilers throughout the rest of this video. Um... I also find myself not liking it as much after Nick dies, even though he does have, I think, a little bit of a cameo toward the end. Um, uh, that also that scene also felt like a lot of, of fan service. But Nick's character is amazing. Um, it, as soon as he comes on to the page, you fall in love with the guy. You see him get his his butt kicked, and he has to move on. He <laughs> so he ends up with the what is it, the sheriff or whatever. Just his whole storyline is great. And I love the fact that he's deaf. Um, not because, you know, he has to struggle. It just added an extra bit of that to the character. And then to end up with him and Tom Cullen, um, who spells everything M-O-O-N, it was it's just a great pairing. Um, but I think I like Nick a bit more than I like Tom. So there's Nick Andros. Next up, can you can all guess who from It? I bet, I bet you, I bet, I bet you're thinking Ben. No, it's not Ben. It's Mike. Um, Mike Hanlon is one of the greatest characters in all of literature. Um, he's the one who stays behind. He's the one who does all the research. He's just an all-around badass, and he is great. Um, I love reading about him. I especially love any time we're in his head. You, you can feel. Not really the depression, but the sadness and the torment that he was the one who had to stay behind. That he was, he was the one that was stationed in Derry, basically during the the dead the dead moments. You know, he was sitting there and having to wait, however long. Uh, well, he knew 27 years just because of the the research he'd done. Sitting there having to wait for this thing to return, and then having to call each and every person, and having Stan suicide on his on his chest, all that stuff. Mike Hanlon, amazing. Alright, next up, we have Lewis Creed from Pet Cemetery. Um, I loved watching Lewis's descent into madness. His, how grief just destroys him. Um, and I know that sounds terrible, uh, but I like watching that happen to characters. I like watching a character change from beginning to end, and from Pascal all the way up until um, Rachel, you know, at the, at the end, and, and then Gage in the middle, I, all of it, watching Lewis react to that, and this book is so much stronger for not having any other point of views. It only is uh, only to, I think, well actually I think it jumps around when, um, when Lewis, I always forget whether or not it jumps around. I think it goes to Rachel and Ellie when they're with uh, Rachel's parents. I can't remember. Um, but the majority of this book is from Lewis's point of view. And him digging up Gage, yeah, that, that, uh, that's probably my favorite scene in the book that is not horror related. Alright, next up we have <laughs> Dolores Claiborne 
I love reading about this woman. Her telling the story is just amazing. I mean, right off the bat, you jump in and they, uh, <laughs> what did you ask Annie Bissett? Do I understand these rights as you explained to me? Goy, what makes some men so numb? I, this book, and I, I've been saying I love, I love, I love, but Dolores Claiborne was the first Stephen King book that I ever read. Um, I stole it out of the, the mailbox from, my mom had the uh, Stephen King book club coming in. She wouldn't let me read Stephen King at this point. I think it came out in 93, I was 13, um, or 12, I can't remember. Anyways, that doesn't really matter. But I remember, so I, I devoured it over the course of two nights. And uh, it was, and even R.L. Stein Goosebumps book took me three to four days, sometimes a week to get through. This one, which is two, three times as long as a Goosebumps book, I read in two days. Um, this definitely started my love for Stephen King's writing. Um, I think my love for Stephen King began when I first saw Pet Cemetery when I was nine. If you want to look at look for my top five uh, Stephen King novels, if you want that story. But uh, reading about Dolores, I love her attitude. I love a woman with attitude. Period. Um, and she has one of the best. Last. But certainly not least, and if I didn't rank all the rest of them, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there. I'm going to rank this one. This is probably my favorite Stephen King character throughout the entirety of his bibliography. Now, while these other four didn't have a ranking in ascending or descending order, this one is probably my favorite, well, not probably, it is my favorite character in the entire universe, um, entire Kingverse. Um, and probably my favorite character in all of, in all of literature, all I can't think of anybody else that I like more. So, we are talking about, not Roland, but Eddie. Um, me and Eddie have so much in common, from the, uh, the struggle with drug addiction to uh, his, his attitude. His, everything about him reminds me of me. The only person in King's bibliography that comes close is Holly. Because I'm a bit OCD and I have the, kind of the same thought patterns that she does. And Holly would be another one. I didn't even think about her until right now. But Holly would be another one of my honorable mentions. Um, in fact, you know what? I might go back and do... If you want to see a top five worst Stephen King characters, let me know. Because I can already think of three that I want to put on the list. Anywho, but Eddie is amazing. Um, and I picked the drawing of the three specifically because it's his introduction to the story. Um, it's one of the best character introductions of all time. Um, one of the best shoot, one of the best fight scenes in the entire Dark Tower series has to do with Eddie, other than the Battle of Tull. I would say that um, Eddie's the the shootout at what it was the mobsters. I always forget. I always want to say bizarre, bizarre, something something like that. Um, the mob boss, he goes in, they shoot up the place. Uh, that is probably my favorite scene throughout the entire series. Um, but Eddie's introduction, man, I, you, don't, you don't get, it's classic King. He throws you right into a situation, but not so drastically that you don't get to learn the character. In fact, the scene is so, it's, the scene is intense, because he's smuggling drugs. But, you still have the time to learn about Eddie's character through that intense moment, and I love it. It's just perfect character development. So anyways... Let me know down there in the doobly-doo what your favorite characters are. Even let me know who you don't like reading about. I, like I said, I can already think of three, maybe even four. Um, so if you want to see that worst uh, Stephen King characters video, let me know. But until next time, I have been you have been you. This has been another Stephen King list. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!